So maybe you like to play a four or five colour commander that has a mana dump that you can put as much mana into. Maybe you like to play Najila the Blade Blossom, or Joda, Archmage Eternal, or Thrasios, Triton Hero somehow, or Horde of Nations, or perhaps you proxy Sliver Queen, Chromat, Braem, Ethereum Shaper, either one of the Tazris, or like me, you play Kenrith the Returned King. Either way, infinite mana of whatever colour you like is really quite useful. But how do you get it? And more importantly, how do you get it cheaply? And yes, before anyone says it, this entirely works for Sisse with a light captain as well. Now this is a nice simple one, as you're only really going to need three cards in play. That's right, just three, and one of them is your commander, so you don't need to tutor for them because you already know where they are. They're in your command zone, or they're already on the battlefield. So the first one we're going to take a look at that isn't your commander is Faye Borough Elder, which came in with Eldraine last year. Now this handy little tree fellow taps for whatever colours you need, frankly. Now depending on which commander you're using, those colours will influence what colours it taps for. So as long as one's there, he's going to tap, which is nice, but it only does it once. Maybe we can fix that. So the second part of this is the lovely Sword of Perunes. Perunes? Yeah, let's go with Perunes, which untaps whichever creature it's attached to for the cost of three mana. So you can tap Faber or Elder between four and five mana, depending on which commands you're using, and then untap it for three. Tap it again, untap it, tap it again. You get the idea. Whatever color of mana you want, this little combo is going to sort you right out. But of course, that's not everything. How do we make sure that these cards end up in our hands? Well, let's sort the tree fella out first. So first there is Demir, 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 uh, Machinations, Drift of Phantasms, old friend, and Perplex, all of which are Transmute 3, mainly around black, blue, or black and blue. Weirdly, the Demir one is just black, and it allows you to go and look through a 3 CMC spell, and yes, you've guessed it, Faber Owen Alder is a 3 CMC spell, so there's three very cheap tutors all around the cost of a dollar, which is going to get Faber Elder into your hand. Now what about the Sword of Perunes? Two for you on this one. Hey, look at it. It's both transmute effects. So it's the Clutch of the Undercity and the Dimir House Guard. Look, I really like transmute effects because they're very, very cheap comparatively to the rest of Magic. And also they allow you to get very, very specific cards from your library. And when you're building a combo deck, specific cards is the thing that you need specifically. Both of these are going to let you get the Sword of the Prunes out of your deck and aren't going to require a second mortgage on your house. So there you are, infinite mana of whatever colour you like to throw into your 4 or 5 CMC commander and achieve whatever game breaking effects they allow you to do. Ah oh, EDH, such a simple happy game. If there's more of these you'd like me to do, please let me know in the comments below. Cheers.